Welcome back into the Sports Drive, everyone. My first guests from today are from the Randall Raider baseball team. I have Carson Hafner, Hagen Shedd, and Blaine Barron with me. How are you guys doing today? Very good. good. All right. Well, boys, thanks so much for coming on. I have a lot to talk about. Obviously, you guys are getting ready for that big regional semifinal round this upcoming week. But I obviously want to talk about the quarterfinal round that you guys just had. I mean, start with you, Carson, because you were just the star of the show for that game one there through a no hitter and the win, the one to nothing win against Hereford. I mean, I know we kind of spoke a little bit after the game. You spoke with the media just about that um, huge win. I kind of want to hear it again from you. Just what was just your approach kind of to the mound during that game? And what do you just have to say about the team's performance? Okay. So uh, we knew we went into that series knowing it was going to be a dog pie. Like, that was a great team. And so uh, um, we just, our philosophy is always uh, winning begins and ends on the mound. And so as long as I can pump strikes and let my defense play, our defense is the best around. And so uh, just letting them make plays and win a ball game. Were you kind of in your head? I mean, not in your head, obviously, you know, you don't want to, you know, jinx anything or any or anything like that, but kind of that last inning there, I mean, it was three up, three down for you guys. I mean, kind of what was going through your head getting those last three outs? Yeah, I was definitely feeling the pressure the last inning. I was like, dude, I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up right now. But, uh, uh, yeah, we just kind of, those three outs, I was definitely thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about it. And then kind of offensively now, um, I mean, a little, I mean, Carlos Duran threw a great game there for Hereford as well. Um, kind of, you know, bats got a little spark there, got the one run for you guys. Kind of offensively, what was just kind of the approach to the batter's box for you guys? And, you know, how, how did that those things kind of turn out in that game one? Uh, well, so our main thing was is we need to get runners on base. You know, we're going against a really good defense. And uh, they got players all around the diamond that are good at what they do. So uh, just go through with the mentality of, you know, chase strikes and let the pitchers do the work. And uh, just get on base is the main thing. We get people on base is how we need to score. More. So just mainly get people on. And then that game, too, obviously, the – it was an early spark for the offense there. I mean, come out big and end it in five innings there, 13 to three. So kind of just what, you know, ignited that spark? Kind of was it a, um, you know, after that game one, only scoring one run, was it kind of just a mindset of, oh, we're going to go in and finish business today? Kind of what was that for you guys? It was a kind of a little bit of frustration because we know we're better than that. Like that game one didn't uh, really reveal the firepower that we have in our lineup. And so game two, we're kind of like, all right, we'll show them what we're about. And then coming up this week, I mean, tough battle kind of with Wichita Falls. I mean, kind of scouting them out. What have you guys kind of heard from that team? They're kind of like the same as Hereford. We got to do the same thing, have the same approach, go right at them, get the lead early and do our thing. And then last year, you guys made it to just last round. I mean, you got put out in the quarterfinals. So this year, you know, already a round ahead than you were last year. I mean, kind of what do you think it'll take, you know, to keep going, the momentum and everything? How's practice been? And what do you think it'll take just motivation and momentum-wise from the team? Man, just today, me and Hagen were talking about how last year at this time we were done. And, like, one seventh period in, we went home, and that was it. But this year it's – on to the on the next game, on the next whoever's next, and so uh, we kind of have a routine as a team, and we do the same thing. We have yoga on Monday, practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, just carry it over into the next week. Wait, so y'all guys do yoga together? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, it, it. That sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, it's, I mean, definitely, you know, something. Um, good worthwhile for sure but that's awesome i mean kind of going off that a little bit obviously to get to this point in the season you have to be talented but you also have to have that team chemistry i mean how do y'all feel like that has been formed over this season well i mean we've all been playing with each other for years and we're all just kind of there in one piece and just keep playing as a team it's really what it takes yeah usually this late in the season dudes start getting tired of each other 
but we're not there yet. We kind of, we, we, we get our work in, we hang out with uh, the dudes we want. And if you start getting tired, like we, we don't really get tired of each other because we've, we're just brothers. It's like a family around here. And when it comes down to the game, it's just, we get out there and we just work as a team and work together to make it happen. So, uh, you know, anything goes wrong, you're in the locker room, whatever, when time to, when it's time to come up in the field, it's time to be together and work as a team and win a ball game. So that's what it's all up to. And obviously all three of y'all are juniors, correct? Yes, ma'am. So you have a big senior class there. I think it was 12, Coach Hamilton told me. I mean, obviously you guys were a part of the squad last year and then, you know, this year seeing those 12 seniors, do you feel like that kind of, um, you know, experience and everything and just leadership from those seniors. I mean, how do you feel like that's been for the season? Man, when things get hard and like, you don't know what to do, you can always just look up to those guys, see how they're dealing with adversity and how they're, they're holding themselves. And, uh, it's just good to know because they, they've been there before. And so seeing, uh, how they handle themselves, the younger guys can look up to that and fake it till we make it. And, I mean, kind of going back a little bit to the season here, just looking, I mean, you guys start off with four wins and then you have three straight losses. But, I mean, besides that, you have 30 straight wins now. So, I mean, how is that, how are y'all able to do that? I mean, really pulling together, you know, team chemistry-wise, talent-wise, what really goes into having 30 straight wins so far? Just staying consistent, just having that consistency all year and just keep doing our thing. Yeah, and making sure no one gets in the way of the momentum. Once we're rolling, no distractions, no uh, dudes getting in the way. Just keep doing the same thing. And going back off of teamwork, it's just a matter of uh, don't let anyone or don't let yourself be bigger than the team. Yeah, you know I mean, just work together and let the chemistry build itself and uh, win the bracket. And then. They have. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely have. Um, but then obviously you guys, you know, don't want the season to end. I mean, you're chasing that state ring, chasing that state title. What do you think it'll take to get there? Staying consistent. Yeah, just play right of all. We have a group talented enough to, if we play our game and don't let anything else get in the way, I, I don't I think we'll just keep rolling. And obviously, I mean, you guys have played at Hodgetown, but I mean, that's huge, you know, to be able to play at that facility this Saturday for the regional semis. I mean, how excited are you guys to be able to play? I mean, obviously first games in Wichita Falls, but for game two and if needed at game three, but you get to play at Hodgetown. I mean, just how excited are you guys to be able to come back to Amarillo for that big round? Oh, it's, it's definitely crazy. It's a good experience that we'll all get to remember forever. And Hopefully just do our thing over there. Yeah, it's awesome because everyone that I know is going to be there. And so it's it's pretty special for a high school game to have this much, uh, like, buzz. Mm -hmm. And kind of just being here now for a year, you know, reporting on all the local teams, I've just seen something really special out of Randall. I mean, obviously you guys have a lot of talent and a lot of athleticism. I mean, around just all around. I mean, a Lone Star Cup, you know, school right there. So just obviously just the environment and culture of being a Randall Raider. I mean, how has that been for you guys and how excited are, are you guys, you know, for your final senior year next year being a Randall Raider? Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it feels like home and uh, everyone's very welcoming here and uh, just Raider Nation. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a winning atmosphere. Like, like it, it it just breeds winners like you have to we we go about our, our school work our daily work our athletic work it's all max effort like there's no like partial handouts like we attack everything with everything we got that's awesome well guys thanks again for joining us on the sports drive today and i got some practice to get to you know before the big regional semi round this upcoming weekend but again thank you so much and good luck this weekend against wichita falls Ma'am, thank, thank you. you. It's yoga time. <laughs> oh, yoga time. That's awesome. <laughs> Bye, guys. And we'll be right back on the sports drive.